Hey guys, this is Ishwar. Today we're going to be talking about the classification of Streptococcus. Now, Streptococcus is basically classified into two types, aerobes and facultative anaerobes and obligate anaerobes. An example of obligate anaerobes is Peptostreptococcus and let's just leave it there. Moving back to aerobes and facultative anaerobes, based on the hemolysis, they are classified into three types, alpha hemolytic, beta hemolytic and gamma hemolytic. In alpha hemolytic, there's a greenish discoloration seen around the colonies with uh, partial lysis. Uh, now, the alpha group consists of important bacterial groups like uh, the viridins group, pneumococcus, and the beta hemolytic group consists of streptococcus pyogenes and the gamma hemolytic group consists of enterococci. Uh, now, um, moving back to the most important type of group, that is the beta hemolytic group. Uh, in beta hemolytic grouping, um, there is further classification of it into Lansfield types based on serological typing. The serological typing is based on the presence or absence of carbohydrate C and the quality of it. It is um, of 20 Lansfield types starting from A to V minus I and J. A to V minus I and J. Uh, now the Lansfield grouping has the group A. The group A is Streptococcus pyogenes which is of dental importance. Now this is further classified into 80 Griffith types. Now the Griffith types is from 1 to 80 without uh, any stopping or anything between. It's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 80. Uh, now that's it. Uh, more information about Streptococcus might be provided in the next or further video. Uh, so do your thing. Hit like, subscribe and wait for my next video because I got a lot of time.